Yep. You won't impress at all, are you? If you're running short on space, sometimes picking the right keyboard is half the battle. Or maybe picking half the keyboard. Hi, I'm Jeff. Welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. And this is the Sedei Sades, not sure the pronunciation, but it's a little keyboard, and I do mean little. It's also only the left hand side of a keyboard. Why would you only want the left hand side of a keyboard? Well, if you're doing gaming, for example, and you just wanted to sit in front of your TV or somewhere where you don't have a big desk like this, you've just got a lap tray or something along those lines. You want to have room for a mouse and a keyboard and there really isn't room for both on the old lap tray. So, here we have half a keyboard. Now with this, you can use all your normal keys that you would use for movement, wasad and all that, plus a selection of other keys, just as long as the other keys aren't the ones over here. Yeah, this is a odd little device, but it definitely does fulfill a bit of a niche need. This particular example is a, well, it describes itself as a RGB mechanical keyboard, and it is indeed mechanical. Very blue sounding mechanical keys. And it is RGB in that it has lots of different colors, but they are all set. So each individual row is a set color. You can't address them to be different colors. They're just set as individual rows being individual colors. They do have different effects. We'll have a look at those now. Or you can have it off completely, but yes, it's just those. So it's one of these little fellas. You can do all your normal PC gaming keys with your left hand and your mousing with your right hand. No, there doesn't appear to be right hand keyboards, only left. When I was initially testing this, I was playing Far Cry 5. And it had the intro sequence where you go to arrest the cult leader. And it said, press the enter key to arrest the subject. Yeah, problem, no enter key. Uh, I had to scrabble around and find another keyboard and plug that in and then press the keyboard. If you are gonna use something like this, yeah, set your keys up before you start. Otherwise you'll make it stuck in a situation like that. There are a few of these left-handed keyboards around. They're not that common, but there are a few. This one is a pretty good one. It's like I said, mechanical, but it is a bit loud. So this may not be the one to pick if you want to use it and stream and be heard above the sound of your keyboard. But it does seem a very sturdy unit. It feels just like a decent mechanical keyboard should, but just half of it. Now the eagle eyed amongst you may have noticed our slightly unusual escape key or e-chap key possibly. Well, this was because it wasn't a UK or English keyboard, it was actually a French keyboard. And the keys are actually slightly different. Luckily, they aren't on the other side of the keys, they're just slightly moved around. So I was able to just pull out the keys and they do just pop out there, easy to remove, and just move them around a bit and rearrange it back to the classic QWERTY configuration. This little oversight was 100% my fault. When buying it, there were three options and I didn't notice 
that there was a little FR on the option. There was also a UK version, obviously, and there was also a German version. I just noticed that this version was slightly cheaper. It didn't help that the pictures didn't change when going between the different versions. They still showed the normal QWERTY layout. However, both the French and the German versions were cheaper. And so I just went for the version that was cheaper, not realizing it was actually French. But like I said, it didn't really matter. The German keyboard is slightly different from the English keyboard, but it's only different from this side onwards. This side would have been fine and there wouldn't have been any real difference. But it doesn't really make any practical difference. Now the keys are being swapped around. They do seem to be a slightly different angle because they came from a lower row and seem to be angled slightly differently. So they catch the light a little differently. You see the Q and W keys there. But it doesn't make an actual practical difference. So it's fine. And I do get my unusual and quirky ECHAP key. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. Did you know about these type of little half keyboards? Were you thinking of this model in particular and wondered how well it would do? If you found this video useful, why not give it a like? And if you'd like to see more from us, please subscribe. I've been Jeff, this has been the Mammoth Tech Show and you've been very kind to watch. Thank you very much. Why not subscribe? I've, <laughs> I've been Jeff, this is the cat jangling his little jangly toys and crashing about. Thank you, Zeus. He done? Is he done? We'll try this again. If <laughs> so, so, please stop. <laughs>